to Miss Molly Manx, 7.30. It's streaming time, it's cooking time. We have some delicious food on the menu. We're gonna try for the second time on stream. We're gonna make some sweet potato, potato gnocchi, but we're gonna actually make proper gnocchi this time with sweet potato rather than some healthy-ish stuff. Uh, last time it didn't work too well. The dogs have just realized that they can't go through that door because the dog door shut. So, Romeo's gone around. How's everybody doing? Uh, so we are gonna make some sweet potato gnocchi with some uh, tomato, basil, spinach, uh, and then we're also going to be making some granola bars as well. Uh, but before we go into tonight's cook, let's go back to last time and we'll show you what we, we made. There we go. So we did Irish themed stream for Miss Molly Makes Around the World. Uh, we made some delicious food. Uh, so I last time I was at Ireland was about four years ago, four and a half years ago. And um, I spent the summer, oh, uh, Irish summer, um, European summer, going through Europe. Uh, and then I spent some time in Ireland and it was so beautiful. I fell in love with the food, people um, I went to the Guinness factory and it was a lot of fun um, but some of my favorite food that I had there was uh, Irish soda bread so very similar to a bread but not using yeast uh, instead you use uh, baking soda and then you're also using a buttermilk uh, to help rise the bread and give it some nice fluff, kind of air, um, aeration, and it was so good. We made ours with cheddar cheese and some rosemary in there as well. And Xib keeps telling me that how good it was in that. Probably need to make some more sometime soon. So, uh, really, really delicious. Uh, the food looked really good. It went through Reddit, and I was getting some questions about how do you make it rise and how do you cook it. So it's definitely, I'm going to uh, find some more recipes, something similar, maybe like um, something with some olives or some dried tomatoes in there. See what we can do. This on screen is the beef and Guinness pie. Uh, so we use the Guinness, which is a, a very, 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 very famous um, Irish beer. Uh, very dark in color. Uh, it doesn't taste the same as it does in Ireland, uh, let alone that it's been canned. We, I, I got it my hands on a can here. They're a big, big can, uh, about 440 mils. Uh, the closest thing you're gonna find to the Irish beer is from a, a pub um, that's like a draft beer, but you know, a poured one, uh, but it's still not as good as Ireland. So if you guys can get yourselves over there and try and taste it, I promise you it is 10 times better than you find it anywhere else. Uh, and then last but not least, we made some lemon pudding. And this was very similar to an impossible pie, if you've ever heard of that. What happens is the, the batter separates in the oven and it makes two different layers. So at the top, you've got this nice spongy cake. And then at the bottom, you've got this really nice, silky, soft uh, pudding. And it's very, very tasty. A slight uh, tart of the lemon. And then you've got some sweetness in there as well. So I really loved it. Uh, Exceed wasn't sure if how he felt but um, all in all it was a fabulous night it was a fabulous stream uh, all together we had a great stream four subs we had a huge host um, and at one stage over 180 people in stream so it was a lot of fun uh, some oh, yeah follows host and sub it was a great stream everybody bring up the chat how's everybody doing Ho, oh, thank you for that sub. Thank you for that sub. Tier one. Thank you very much. Uh, you're going shopping, no problem. Um, Molly, please take all the horrible humid storms back to Australia. Dawns, what's happening? It's stormy? Oh, it's nice and beautiful here at the moment. Steve, can we get the weather in chat, please? Uh, let's see what the temperature is now. It has been stormy over in the western side of Australia, I do know that. Uh, they received like over 100 mils on my friend's farm. So that's pretty crazy. Um, Dawn's is in New Zealand. Um, all right. So what we're gonna start off is, I think we'll start with the, the granola first. Uh, I have got sweet potato in the oven. 
So I chopped it up into some nice pieces and I'm just oven roasting it. Preferably, I like to do it whole, but time restraints, we're just gonna just soften it like this. You don't want the edges too brown and too dry. So just a nice light oven will do. Here, humidity is 80% in the morning, apparently. If you, ooh, yuck, so sweaty and gross. What are you two doing, you two? You wanna go outside? Oh, God. Romeo will start growling now and barking outside. There's a dog next door, um, so he's visiting, so Romeo likes to bark. Here. Um, Oh, stormy, that's terrible. What is it here? 38%, it's not too bad. It's 24 degrees, it's nice and cool. There we go. Good. Um, but I started my new job yesterday, everybody. Uh, it, was a, it is going to be a lot of fun. I'm just getting in the process. Yesterday was meeting people and you know, it's always like, do you know Lauren? She's the new educator and uh, it is pretty cool. Um, but today I just, Plonked my bum in my uh, on my desk in my chair, and I read policies all day and just did some research. Um, went through the file. They haven't had like an educator, um, well on and off, but they're just like old files that have gone through. Things I'm gonna have to update, um, but I'm excited. It's very exciting, um, you know, and I can start fresh and start all new for myself and the way I like to do things. So yeah, watch this space. So we got some new music. Can you guys hear the music? Is the temp uh, the temperature? Is the volume good enough? I'm just drinking. Oh, you can you can just see through it. Uh, some cold brew coffee. The rest of the cold brew that we made the other day. Just giving me some caffeine kick. I have a day off tomorrow. So Chester has a haircut. No, Chester's already had a haircut. Chester has his last vaccination. So um, because we're going to a new vet, we've only been there once. Um, I'm taking Romeo as well, just to get them used to just going to the vet. Um, and there's like a, it's a pet shop, but not a pet shop, like a pet supply store as well. So they like going there and um, it might be slightly loud. All right. Hello, I'm a Panda King. How you doing? We are going to be making some sweet potato gnocchi. I have the sweet potato cooking in the oven. We are going to serve the gnocchi with some spinach, um, some tomato, we've got little baby tomatoes. You can use sun-dried tomato as well. Um, lemon, you could use some sage butter. Do any, anything you really like, you can serve with it. Not anything, but you know. Um, you can put some basil, you can make like a pesto sauce with it. You just have like a sage butter and that will be it. Um, who, who is a big fan of gnocchi? Is there anyone that hasn't had gnocchi before? Um, please let me know. Or is there someone that does love it and what do you like to eat gnocchi with? I know it's one of those things, those type of pasta or Italian dishes that you either haven't heard of or you, you either hate or love. Like there's, there's only three categories I think. People who've never had it. Some people that love it. Usually I, I get like people that love it. I don't really know people that don't like it. Well, that's, what am I talking about? There's, there's only really three categories. You don't like it, you like it. Or if you've never had it, you never heard of it. So I don't know. I usually hear good things about it. I don't think I've had it. So gnocchi is... Um, Think of it as little pillows um, or like little clouds. It usually uh, is made with traditional uh, potato. And instead of mashing the potato, uh, you put it through a ricer. So very similar to a like a sieve, but what's happening is you, you're mashing it and it's creating little tiny pieces of potato that are really, really fine. And that, um, it makes it like, how do I explain it? Um, have you guys heard of that kinetic sand? 
you know that sand that like stays together but then like you push your finger through it you kind of got boards apart if you get sand and like pick it up and let it run through your fingers oh, it's nice and like airy that's what when you rice potato that's similar to what it's like it kind of just is light and airy and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold that gently and through um, the flour and that's gonna give you a really light dough rather than mashing it um, and making it into a potato dough. It's gonna be really dense, it's really bleh, and really like glue. So what you want when you're making gnocchi is really light and fluffy um, and kind of like a whipped, kind of aerated uh, dough. And you cut them, you can roll them into long pieces like little sausages, cut them up and make little squares. Or what I'm gonna show you to do what I'm gonna try uh, is use your fork and kind of make a little indentation and make it prettier. We're going to uh, uh, cook it in a saucepan to cook the, the flour and the dough, and then we're gonna transfer it to a, a nice fry pan and then make it a little bit crispy on the edges. Um, and that's my favorite way of eating gnocchi. You can make it all like, it's a little bit slimy when you, um, unless you're having like a really thick, um, sauce like a um, marinara sauce or something like that it's really good but I really like having uh, a pan fried because it's a little bit crispy and then you have a really nice um, light sauce with it so it is to help keep the density down yeah it's interesting I don't actually have a ricer uh, which is I've never actually made uh, well, I've never needed it because I only made proper gnocchi once or twice but that is my next piece of equipment that I'm going to buy to use to make it um, proper gnocchi. Whereas this, we'll just show you how to make it. It's really easy. And you can just use your fork to kind of mash it up rather than mashing it properly. I'll show you. It'll all be easy to understand. All right, so we're going to get into some granola. So, well, both of the dogs are outside. Okay. So, first we have some rolled oats, of course, for granola. We have some rice puffs. So you can use uh, regular uh, rice puffs. You could use, uh, if you want to get your hands on some brown rice as well, puffed brown rice. But this is um, rice bubbles, whatever you want to call them. Um, so we've got them. What else? Exceed if we can change recipe, please. I have an egg. So we'll do this. Dun, dun, dun. An egg. Uh, we're gonna put some chocolate drops in it. And the recipe stipulates um, miniature chocolate chips. I don't have them, so I just have regular chop chips. But we can just chop them up and make them little. Okay? Just your normal regular chop chip size. So these are dark chocolate. Um, the recipe just calls for about two tablespoons. So it's you can add them if you want to, if you don't, it's no problem. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna add that many, I don't think. Okay. Um, we have some honey. Nice honey. Uh, salt. What else? Uh, I've just forgot. Where's coconut oil? And some Greek yogurt. Let me just get it out of my fridge. The Greek yogurt's gonna give it a nice zing and help keep it together. Keep it together. Here we go. So super, super simple. Uh, really, just mixing all the ingredients together, pushing it into a tin, baking it. And that's it. Queen of Fox, sorry I missed your message. How you doing today? Uh, I've only had it once and I liked it. Ooh, you like the gnocchi? That's good. Um, ay, 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 good day. Chaos, how you doing? What am I finding? I'm getting a mixing bowl. Welcome back. How's things been, Chaos? And, I need this for later. Skip, hello. Um, mixing bowl, tin. Tin, 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 tin. There we go. Put it aside. 
side. Now it is what it is. Okay. You're doing great. That's good to hear. Oh, welcome back. Uh, we are making some chop chip granola bars at the moment. So, like I said, we're making these with a little bit of dark chocolate. You don't have to have them, you can add it, make plain or you can substitute it maybe for some cranberries or dried fruit if you like it. Uh, I was never a fan of, never been really a huge fan of dried fruit. I can probably eat cranberry, dried cranberries, um, but other than that I'm not a huge fan. So I was always, as a kid, I always preferred having plain granola bars or the ones with chocolate chips in it. Uh, whereas my brothers would always have like the raspberry ones or the apricot ones and you know, the ones with yogurt. I don't, I never understood how they made that yogurt topping for, or like the base of granola bars was yogurt. I never got that. Like, in, you know how yogurt has to be kept in the fridge? Oh yeah, that doesn't make sense to me. So. What are your favorite, like as kids, do you guys like granola bars or do you like granola bars now? Trail mix bars, they're called as adults, aren't they? I love how they just, you know, they, they try to make foods different for adults. Like you couldn't have a, a, a muesli bar or something like that as a kid. You had to have a granola bar. Or like as an adult, they change names of things to make them less childish. But I think a lot of adults love going back to their childhood and having like fruit roll-ups. And like when we made a few weeks, you know, a few days ago, we made some fruit roll-ups and you know, um, making having lunchables and things like that. If you, if a grown adult went to work and like, oh, what are you having today, Jerry? Oh, I'm just having some lunchables. You'd be like, oh, you'd be the laugh of the, the, no, the office, I reckon. But if you just said, oh yeah, I've just got some pre-packed um, ham and some cheese and I'll some crackers. Then I'll be like, oh, you know, that's really nice. Is it is it aged cheddar? Or they'll be like, oh, very la di da uh, Whereas if you just said, oh, no, I had some lunchables. You know, just, everything's gonna be fancier as, a, as an adult. Why can't it just be like, fun? Why can't fruit be fun anymore? Chocolate cranberry granola bars are my favorite. Oh, I know chocolate cranberry. I think I'd like that. Oh, with almonds. Oh, I do like almonds. I like plain chocolate and peanut butter. What? Peanut butter? Roll-ups. Yeah, Chaos, the other day we made um, some mango, uh, mango roll-ups. They take a little bit of a time in the, the oven. They take about mm, six hours. So I made them on stream and then popped them in the, in the oven. Uh, I cooked them for about two, two to three hours. I took them out, then put it in the fridge. Then the next day I dehydrated them properly uh, and then rolled them up and they looked really cute. So they're on my Insta and they're all um, on the socials if you wanna check them out. Next time I think I'd do it with some apricot or some strawberry, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna take these sweet potato out of the oven. I should have done. I should have peeled the sweet potato. Silly. Oops. Sensei Lunchables. Yeah. Okay. In here, what we're going to do is we want coconut oil. So we want one teaspoon of coconut oil. two egg whites. So we're going to separate the egg white from the egg yolk. The egg white is going to help keep it together. Not like that. Oh, perfect scoop. Yeah. What else do you 
you were a fan of that you had as a kid but or that you do have now something that you loved as a kid what do you like I always think milkshakes remind me of my childhood I love having a little chocolate milkshake um, yeah I think that's for me milkshakes I like turtles. I mean a pause. Very nice. Okay, uh, in here we're gonna have the Greek yogurt. So you want a quarter cup of Greek yogurt. Honeycomb cereal. Sensei, these foods are crazy. I've never heard of them. Crunchy nut. Mm, crunchy nut has always been a favour of mine. I was never allowed to have it because my mum said it had too much sugar in it. But I'm not a huge cereal eater, so I suppose that's a good thing that I'm not eating. Because if I was, if I was a cereal person, I think my go to thing would be. Uh, crunchy nut cereal or the Milo cereal has anyone eaten that before I they used to have this this cereal called mini wheats and it was like shredded I pain creatures how you doing uh, for those that don't know I pain creatures is a an amazing streamer amazing artist we have uh, raided him um, a few times and I love it miss Molly mix Miss Marley Mix! Exceed and I, my partner, were. Uh, every time we, we raid him, he like he says my name in the coolest way. Uh, and because it plays, as soon as we, we host, it kind of goes uh, on our sound system and it's so loud. Uh, and my partner and I were like, Miss Marley Mix! We love it. So it's so lovely that you're here. Guys, go and check him out. Uh, an amazing creative streamer, an incredible artist. Uh, so thank you very much for being here. You've never heard of Crunchy Nut. So Crunchy Nut cereal, um, uh, Crunchy Nut cereal is very similar to a cornflake, if anyone knows what that is. So it's like rolled corn, um, and it's like a lot of sugar, and it's got peanuts, I think. I think that's what it is. And it's so good. It's just really, really sugary. Um, and the last thing, the one that I grew up with is called uh, Mini Wheats. Uh, we're talking about cereal for anyone that's just um, that's just come. So we are uh, just saying about like we're making some granola bars right now and we're just like as kids you'd call them muesli bars and they were just things that you have in your lunchbox but it's not really except you know there's there's t similar foods that you could only have as kids and they're not acceptable for adults you could have called them granola bars or you're gonna be fancy um, and we're just talking about food that we loved as kids and I'm not a big uh, cereal person, but there was a cereal called Mini Wheats that was like shredded corn, uh, shredded wheat, and then it's filled with like a uh, like a, a berry jelly kind of thing, like a berry jam, and then it's like they're probably about this big. They're probably the size of your thumb, and that's there are like heaps of them in the cereal, and they're amazing. They're so good, uh, but they don't make them anymore. I don't think. Well, I think that they do, but it's just the plain shredded wheat, which is boring. The best part is like soaking them in milk and eating it and then having like the pop of the fruit. Yum granola bars must be good homemade, yeah. So in here we have egg white, we have some Greek yogurt, and we also have some co coconut oil. All right, we're going to add three tablespoons of honey. So I'm going to somehow how do this wish that would stand up like that what oh nearly oh look at that amazing um, Three. 
Pizza Honey. Warm up the spoon first, yeah. Uh, what you can do as well is spray it with some like of your oil spray, like canola oil spray. And I was just too lazy to turn around and get it from the cupboard. How did you eat mini wheats? It's so dry. No. So I, um, the only way that I eat cereal is I have three bowls. I have my cereal, my milk, and then I have my bowl that I eat out of. And I have some cereal, and then I put some milk, and then I eat that. And then I put some more cereal, more milk, and then I eat that. Like it has to, I don't like food that goes soggy. So I would only eat like a little bit at a time. Oh yeah. Mm, just weird like that, but I love mini wheats. That's the best thing. I think that would be more dry if they didn't have that little bit of fruit in the middle. Just, the dogs are ruining my green screen again. Okay, so the honey is in here. Um, I'm just going to wash my spoon. Wait, fill hot water to come out. How's everyone doing today? It is officially Tuesday. I had my second day of work. I have a day off tomorrow. My new job. And it is Australia Day next week. So we're going to be making Australian themed food next Friday. And the coolest thing is is this Saturday is our hot wings challenge, guys. So this one here, and if you read in chat, we are doing a hot one style theme stream. So we're getting some questions. You've got to get in quick. The, the cutoff is going to be um, not on Thursday. Thursday stream will be after that. There'll be no more um, possibility to ask questions. Um, until then, you guys can send through some questions for, uh, for Exceed. Um, it's going to be like an in question and interview um, style stream uh, and Exceed will ask me some questions um, you know from you guys you know if you want to know anything about my personal life if you want to know anything about cooking or you want to like something funny um, it, we want to have a lot of fun and we also want to give you guys the opportunity to get involved as well so get in quick PM or DM Exceed on uh, Twitch or um, also Discord wherever you are. Okay. So now we want some salt. So this is going to be, it's nice and light um, and watery. It's going to be, uh, keep all of the granola bar together. What we're going to do is put some salt in here. So you want just to counteract some of that sweetness. Alright, we want one and a half cups of puffed rice. That's here. Two 
Sorry, that was Romeo got locked outside when Chester was inside. So <laughs> now they're both fighting. Good. Alrighty. Yum. We put some nuts in this as well. Do we like nuts? What nuts should we do? Almonds? Hazelnuts, macadamias, and we're gonna put some dark chocolate in there. And so the recipe calls for miniature dark chocolate chips, but I don't have any, so I'm just gonna kind of chop some of these up with my knife. buy miniature chocolate chips but the ones that I had in my pantry are actually uh, like cooking chocolate and they're really not like really old cooking chocolate looks like a rice krispie it does doesn't it um, the old cooking chocolate that's made out of vegetable oil and they don't taste good whereas this is good Belgian chocolate lower in sugar as well and it's used cocoa butter rather than vegetable oil so it will hold its shape better these are perfect for work snacks school snacks just anytime snacks decided to use even go want you look more like this cool that makes so no, no sense it comes I thought I couldn't understand that I I was like <laughs> good stream snacks definitely 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 um we joke and say that if you're coming to a Molly stream, you have to bring your own snacks because you, everybody gets hungry. And this is perfect. You could keep these in your pantry and then when you get hungry. There we go. And then we'll add some nuts. I think almonds. has been preheated to about what is it on hey Google what's 300 Fahrenheit and Celsius hmm something went wrong hey Google Try again in a few seconds hey Google what is 160 Celsius in Fahrenheit degrees Celsius equals 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so maybe about 300, uh, 140 degrees Celsius, 300 Fahrenheit. You could do slivered, 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 I don't know what it is, I think it's slivered, slivered almonds. But I like the colour and the texture and also having the skin on the almonds. I don't like chopping them though. They always go in funny directions. And they... Some are always chunky than others. There you go. Put that in there. Beautiful. Do another 
because I added so many more rolled oats, it needs some more chocolate. The chocolate's getting lost. So did we find out what Eve Carb said? We're just trying to confuse everybody. There we go. Beautiful. So like I said, you could add anything else in there. You could add some dried fruit, some more types of nuts if you wanted. You could add, um, you know, this is dark chocolate. You can eat milk chocolate if you want or white chocolate. White chocolate and raspberry or um, white chocolate and cranberry would be nice. So what I'm doing is adding some baking paper. So I just cut a small piece. And what you want to do is push it in there. Use your two fingers like this, both sides, and go like that into the corners. What really helps, and I do this anytime I use a tray with baking paper, I spray it first. It just makes like a glue to help it stick and sit into the, the tray better. So just like that into the corners. That makes these little pokey corner little bits. You just want to get your scissors cut down. Cut down like that. And then flip. So what I'm going to do is just do a bit of trimming. So this makes, especially, it's not as necessary for granola bars, but if you've got like a wet uh, filling, something similar to like a cake batter, you don't want it seeping outside of the baking paper and then it's just a terrible terrible thing to clean up so if I can save you some dishes it's my job done All right. a little bit tidier you can also just spray in there like that look a bit neater now we're gonna get mix and if you are so inclined you can withhold a little bit of the the mix like the top um, and like the filling that's what I'm saying uh, you know like chop drops or nuts and you could scatter them over the top so I'm gonna have some thicker bars just means that I need to have a lower oven and cook them for longer but it's okay yeah. what I can do is just take some out and put it into another tray or container Whoops. or you could make some cookies out of it as well maybe add another another egg and make some cookies So the pressure is going to help it all stay together. So when it does bake, the oil in there, it just holds it all together. Um, and then when it cools down, you're gonna have a nice granola bar rather than having granola crumble. Okay. When I get excited and I think, oh, you know, add a little bit more, the recipe, the amounts are there for a reason. And you might find that now it's a little bit um, mushy if you would eat it, <coughs> the rice wouldn't be as crumbly and like crunchy. But you wait until it, it's come out of the oven and it's cooled down, you have a nice crunch. 
no promise. So I'm just pushing it right down, right down into those corners because those corners are often the bits that don't get enough pressure and then they crumble when it comes out. What you can do as well is get some baking paper, like a big piece, and then just push them with your fingers. Not this tiny piece that I've got. You know what I mean. We'll just use nice dry hands. There we go. And push this one in too. If you just wanted it to stay like that rather than pushing it in. Uh, Jazzy, how you doing? How's everyone doing? Hope you out. How are you, Molly? How's the new job? The new job is going really well, thanks, Jazzy. Just getting my, my bearings and getting my feet, but I think it's going to be beautiful. Uh, the best thing is I finish at a reasonable hour, no huge long days anymore, and my chauffeur, Exceed, picks me up on his way home from work. So we get to spend half an hour on the way home, driving and chatting. It's very nice. And I don't have to, I like I take the public transport in and I have to don't take it home, so. It's great. I hope he likes it. Do you still like it exceed after day two? Picking me up. I did bang his door, like his car door when I was getting in. On the, the low. Like on a rock. I opened the door too much in there. It wasn't my fault. The floor just come out and jumped on me. <laughs> So these are our granola bars going into the oven. Like I said, if you want it to get fancy, you can, you know, get some chop drops and like spot them like and do patterns or whatever. But at the end of the day, you're gonna cut it. So there's no point in my opinion. If they were plain, you could just put some chocolate drops, but because we've added some extra nuts and it's gonna look good. So this is our new stream time. We started at 6.30 p.m. Australian Daylight Savings Time. Um, because I'm finishing work at 3, get home at 4. Um, and we thought, let's get in the kitchen. So that allows us to have some, a little bit more sleep, um, bringing it forward. We're not rushing to get to bed and it's gonna be good. I've missed my alone time in the day. Huck. Finn is back to school properly now and things are going back to normal. Oh, nice. I know you say that, but I know you'll miss him. But it is, it is nice having some alone time during the day, isn't it? Um, I do like having my, you know, my space. As much as I love Exceed when he's on holidays, but there's just things that I can do that I get done during the day when I have a day off um, that I feel bad for doing more. Like I can have a like an afternoon nap before he gets home. Yeah. I hate leaving him at school, but home, a quiet house, and the cat is just great. Ah! All right, so this is about 800 grams of sweet potato that I've chopped uh, and put in the oven so it's nice and soft. The only thing that I should have done is taken off the skin, um, but I don't think that will be a huge issue. What I'm gonna do is just blend it anyway. Um, 
Tuxedo, if you want to change the, the menu, the recipe. The skin is really good though. Like, I, you could just not eat the skin. Mm. What is this, the music? Did I say Swedish house mix? Exceed, Romeo, get out. Chester, whatever your name is. I love this song. Okay, so today's recipe, sweet potato gnocchi, sweet potato, obviously, we're going to put some wholemeal flour, so you can use spelt flour, wholemeal flour, you can use regular flour, um, quinoa flour even, we're going to do some salt and pepper, we want one egg yolk, fancy enough, I have two, that worked out well, didn't it? Uh, we want some butter. Butter. Uh, you could use some coconut oil as well, but we're just gonna use butter today. Uh, I've got some garlic, garlic cloves. Um, what else? Cherry tomatoes. Nice. Cool. Still a little bit of like texture and crunch. Look how beautiful and glossy they are. Mm -hmm. Exceeds looking forward to Molly's flight. So next weekend I have a a tiger moth tiger moth flight. So I bought a present for Exceed last year, um, and it's in an aerobatic plane. So it's one of those loop de loop and flip around and that kind of thing. So Exceed, I wanted to do it when Exceed did it, um, but it was quite a lot of money. So. He bought it for me this year and just thinking of it makes me feel sick um yeah i don't know i'm a bit nervous i like roller coasters but they're on the ground i don't know how i can do a bad an airplane i don't know so that is next saturday so next week all right we also have some lemon you could use kale um but we're gonna be using some spinach today green um, I'm gonna get some sage out of the garden if I can find it um, or we could just use some basil basil is really nice as well um, and some chili so I have some jalapenos here but you can just use red chili whatever you like awesome to make a bit of it oh I don't know I'll be screaming has anyone been on anything really scary like that? Has anyone done uh, skydiving or bungee jumping? I don't think I could ever bungee jump. How you doing, Ari? <coughs> Guys, so exciting thing happened yesterday. Romeo. Um, Ori, Ori vs. Ori did her first cooking stream on Twitch. Um, so go, if we can get a shout out for Ori, guys, if you want to go and check out Oriverse, um, click the link and make sure you hit that follow button for her, uh, and send her some love. She's just getting started. She's got a new cam today as well. And you know, when things go wrong, you can be, you can just be like, screw it, drop everything and just like not go through with your, with your plans. But when she got started, all, oh shit hit the fan. Her cameras weren't working, uh, things just didn't work out. Like they do when, when technology is involved, things go to the shit. But she persevered, she used her phone and she moved so that she was uh, cooking on her stove. And it wasn't, wasn't the best, it wasn't what she wanted, but I think she, you've got to start somewhere and then you just improve. So I'm very, very proud of her. So guys, go and check her out. Thank you, I paint creatures, thank you very much. Um, and it's very very exciting so we're excited to be a part of it and any help that we can give you and um, we're excited for your new journey she got a new camera my first dream nothing worked yeah I paint creatures so we um, we started in August uh, no April last year and 
you know, stuff doesn't, so stuff happens. We bought a new um, microphone a few months ago. No one knows this. We bought a clip-on microphone. I was already standing, just about to go live. Uh, the kitchen was set, all everything was organised, and then the microphone didn't work. So then we had to abort it. We had to plug in the old microphone, and we had I think like a minute to go before like the loading like it counts down, and it was just like fuck. We spent all this money. We still haven't sent the uh, it back. We're, we're hoping that it works properly. Um, you know when we program it properly. Uh, your stream Molly is very pro. Thank you very much. I appreciate that comment. It's very lovely. Uh, we do try really, really hard to get our production quality. I am just the cook in the kitchen. Uh, it, you have to give your love to exceed. Uh, he's the production manager, as we say, behind the scenes. Uh, and his effort goes into green screens, uh, alerts. Um, we theme the kitchen with our tech, um, as well as, you know, uh, around Christmas time, we have the Christmas tree in here. We've got decorations. Um, so I paint creatures. As you're new here, and there's some new viewers as well, we have two themed streams. We've got Miss Molly Makes Around the World, where we do themed cuisine from around the world. Uh, so that's doing uh, Irish food on the weekend. Uh, in the future, we're going to be doing some Cuban food. Um, we are going to do some Swiss, uh, Swedish. Um, uh, all different, like all different cuisine, trying new things, food that I've never made before, never eaten before, and we take you on a virtual journey with, uh, you know, we theme the kitchen with photos. Um, sometimes I dress up, um, and we also have Gamer Grub. So Gamer Grub is cooking food from video games, TV shows, and movies. So that be Harry Potter um, next week. Um, all the way up to, you know, doing Simpsons in the past, Game of Thrones, uh, Grand Theft Auto. We like to have a lot of fun. Uh, and we're always looking for ideas if uh, you can uh, redeem in-stream currency called Molly Dollars to make me choose a theme. You can give me ideas. Um, and we have at the moment, we've got a donation goal down here, which is our Uber Eats stream. Uh, what we're going to be doing is redeeming... Um, we're going to be buying some Uber Eats, getting it delivered. We're going to sit down, we're going to review it, and then we're going to get in the kitchen and we're going to remake it even better. Um, and we also have our sub goal is right down the bottom, is our puppy power stream. MSK 12, no, 1200. Uh, welcome to Miss Mother Mix. Thanks for that follow. Uh, so puppy powered stream is anything dog related. We're going to be making some dog treats, some dog jerky. Um, we're going to play with the puppies. I just got a new puppy a few weeks ago, so he's down here licking my floor. I don't know if I've dropped something. Yeah, I'm talking about you. His name is Chester. And he is the Ginger Ninja. I don't know. I call him Ginger, but he doesn't think he's Ginger. He's more caramel. But he likes to just lay on the floor here because the tiles are very cold on his belly. Alright. Those granola bars are smelling lovely. Alrighty. So let's get into some cooking. What I'm going to do is put these in the processor and blend them so they're nice and mashed. Usually I'd mash them but this is a different recipe and I also didn't chop them. I should have taken the skin off. Okay. So this is so sweet. When the oven roasts sweet potato, you'll realize why it's called sweet potato. This beautiful kind of sweet, sticky juices come out and it just really brings out the flavor of the sweet potato. And the best thing is, is putting a whole, like a whole sweet potato in the oven and cooking it for about an hour. And you'll see uh, when you take it out, the skin is really easy to peel off and it just leaves this really delicious, uh, gooey kind of um, sweet potato and it's not, like nothing else. Just wanted to drop in and say, hey, driving six hours to another state today to pick up stuff for the food truck. That's so exciting. So yes, guys, go and check out Ori. 
or are you stream? Do you have you planned when you're going to be streaming again next? Uh, starch breaks down into sugar so much more than potato. Yeah, yeah. So that's our sweet potato. It's going to go into food processor, like the blender, and. Over. So, we're going to do a quick and smally mix. So I'm going to mute the mic and play a little bit of fun for you. We are doing Friday and Saturdays. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Very excited. So, we'll be able to catch you on both nights. Yeah. Midday. It'll be about midday for us. So that's exciting. It'll be just after puppy preschool on Saturday for us, for your Friday stream. Oh, that'd be good. That's so good. I'm so excited. All right, we're gonna do a quick Miss Millie mix. We'll be two seconds. YouTube bullet noises, but mine is, and I'm wondering. Yeah, it is. It's very loud. Um, especially this one here is quite high powered. Um, so that's why our mic is quite close to the the whole setup. So it's just easier if I mute the mic and we play a little bit of music. All right. if I'm going to actually count. <laughs> hmm. Alright. I'm just talking to myself. Here we go. So this is your mash. Because sweet potato has a little bit less starch, or the starch, like Dawn said, has been broken down into um, sugar, you find the consistency is a little bit different than traditional gnocchi, so that's why we're not going to be using the rasa. It's going to be more of like a a normal traditional dough. It doesn't really hold its shape as much. You're going to love, no problem, Jazzy. Some new hardware. Have a great stream. Thank you, Ori. We look forward to hearing about your adventure and we look forward to seeing your stream. Okay. There's a few chunks left that didn't get blended, but it's okay. They'll blend. Don't worry. Okay. 
So in here, we're going to be adding the yolk. So we want one egg yolk out of here. There we go, an egg yolk. Uh, you want 40 grams of butter. So you want 350 grams of flour. So I'm just using wholemeal flour uh, because I don't have any spelt flour on me at the moment. I used it all. Uh, so I'm going to measure it out. I have my scales, but... Molly. There they are. So 350 Because the way that I cut the sweet potato, uh, it may have taken less time, but it seemed to dehydrate the sweet potato quite a lot. So I'm just adding some extra water to rehydrate it, just so that we can make this really nice dough. time on stream and if I'm not using a recipe you know that's my own you know I change things but uh, scary guys Mac man I don't even, I didn't even realize that was you and then I read the vines and then Always the jerks, my friend, always. We've got this tiny little bit of flour left over that we're gonna roll it in and then shake the dough. Okay. Put this aside. We'll get our silicon mat. Let's 
Let's go to the stove. These granola bars are looking so good already. Sausages. Gentle, gentle. So I find that spreading my fingers like this and rocking it is going to help you. Nice and even as well. pillows and like some people push them like that so they look like pillows Whoop. like this what I'm gonna show you is if you cut some even 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 so it's pieces like this start earlier you should get notified mama when we go live just make sure your notifications are on we're just trying the time out I actually I was uh, doing some stuff and then because like, I just started my new job and I love it oh I love it mama but I'm exhausted right so today I just was sitting reading um, on the on the computer all day reading policies and paperwork so by the time I got home I was exhausted so I was you know rang um, did some like jobs around the house and then I went to have a lay down like an afternoon nap and then I had to like make it a little bit like a shorter nap because I realized we were streaming earlier so just a little bit 
to making your sausage. Yeah, I think the job's gonna be really good. I think it's just, you know, meeting everybody, me, the, remembering everybody's name. Gosh, you know, there's only one of me and there's like a million of them. Um, but I'm excited. I feel like I can like help people out, help them like educate them, teach them things. And also people, there's things that people wanna do that they haven't been able to like and setting up courses for people to learn. This should be very exciting. Unless I come down, start in the morning and put Twitch on, I don't get notified. Oh, really? I get notifications to my phone. Okay. So we're making some gnocchi. Sweet potato gnocchi today. But this isn't the, that like, remember that one time that I made gnocchi and it was like vegan gnocchi? Jimmy Neutron, how you doing? This is sweet potato, this is just sweet potato flour egg. No meat here, my friend. It's lovely that you could join us. So if you wanted to make this gluten-free, you could just use quinoa flour. How you doing, Link? Silent though. Ah, ting ting something. Yeah, don't worry. I, I forget to, to, to silent my Twitch ones because they are annoying, I think, sometimes. Because you follow people and then you're like, oh, I don't want to watch you right now. I feel bad for unfollowing people, but if I don't watch them, then. Doing good, how about you? I'm doing really well, thank you. Got tomorrow off, got a busy day, haven't getting Chester's last vaccination. He's a big boy now. God, hasn't that gone so fast? I feel like we just got a puppy and now he's nearly all grown up. He's still a baby, of course, but... Just turning his oven temp down a little bit. I really just want to make sure that that granola cooks nice and evenly, and it's crunchy. So this, this gnocchi is going to be served with a basil, tomato, um, chili sauce. Really, really light sauce. Um, because we're going to cook these and then we're going to pan fry them. How's everyone's week been? Well, for some of you, it's just been Monday. So you guys starting the week off well? No one's sick, I hope. I know that it's winter in the Northern Hemisphere, so I hope no one's got the flu. Okay. 
So guys, remember our hot wings challenge is this weekend. We're gonna be eating hot wing. We're gonna be making hot wings on stream. We're gonna be making some uh, beef ribs, beef short ribs, uh, as well as some killer potato salad. It's called killer potato salad because it is a killer. It's so good. And one of Exceed's favorite things is potato salad. Some people like their potato salad nice and creamy. I like mine zesty. So, it's gonna be yummy. We have about two inches of snow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I wanna come to Scotland and see the snow. See, take me to Scotland. Oh, I have a funny story to tell you guys. So I started my new job on Monday, yesterday, and I have to take public transport. I have to take public transport into work. So I, I walk probably like 500 meters um, to the bus station. And then I, yesterday I was walking to the bus and this is a like six, like, quarter past six in the morning guys the sun is up but it's like you really walk past someone and you're like you usually just go hi or you don't like sometimes you just walk past people and you just want to look at the floor because you don't want to look at them but I like I did the nice hi how you doing and I had headphones in and the guy stopped and he like looked at me and goes how you doing and I'm like walking and I'm like yeah good things and I kept walking and then he did this like, so I would walk past, he stopped and like stared me down, like was like looking at me and it like creeped me out and I just, I just kept walking and I did, I wanted to turn around, but like I could just see in the corner of my eye, he was turn, still looking at me. So I just kept walking and I like messaged Exceed and I was like, that's so weird, like hopefully he's not there every day and I walk past him every morning. Um, but long, short, uh, like I'm getting back to the story, I was walking to work Got on the train, sharp, he liked you, that's all. <laughs> um, and got on the bus, got on the train, it was all good. Got on the right bus and everything. And then I had to get the tram. No, I was on the train. Had to get off the bus and get on the train. The tram. And I thought that I had to get uh, on, you know, off at this certain station. And I was thinking, ah, oh, station hasn't come up. And it was Melbourne Central, and I was like, that's not mine. And then I looked, as the door shut, then I looked at my phone, and I was like, oh, that is my station. So then I went to the next one, got off, and then I got another tram to work. So it was okay. This morning, I got off the right station, got off the train at the right station, got on the right tram, Problem was it was facing the wrong direction and I was going away from my hospital instead of towards it. So then I got off the next stop and then like it was only two minutes between. But hopefully on Thursday I actually can, you know, get there without a hitch. <laughs> Maybe I can just, you know, be a proper adult and get on the right train. I don't know, just public transport here is a bit weird. Hard. Checking you out, yeah, maybe. It was just a bit weird. I was just like, I wasn't ready for that at 6 a.m. Just as well you were leaving plenty of time to get there, yeah. <laughs> yep. So I start at 7.30, um, and the time I usually like would get to work is about 10 past Seven, so I have heaps of time. If anything happens, I just like to be early. I don't like to rush myself. Um, and I don't like to feel, you know, pressured and late. So. so this morning I got to work and oh my God. So Melbourne is known for having good coffee and damn, they do take it seriously. In my, 
I, I'm working in a smaller hospital than my previous one, but they literally have a, a cappuccino machine. Like legit, you have, can grind your own beans and then you like, you put it in there, you tamp it, put it in the cappuccino machine and then press the button and then it goes into your coffee cup and then you get your milk out and you froth the milk and so this morning I didn't know how to use it. So one of the guys showed me and he made me this am amazing coffee, amazing cappuccino. And I sat down and it was like frothed. It had like a little bit of latte art on it. And I was damn impressed. Do you think that I could replicate how to use this machine when I did it maybe two, two or three hours later? I tried to do it and I like, I, I mean, my parents used to own a cafe so I know how to use a coffee machine. But I just the coffee wasn't coming out the right way. And then I tried to wiggle it and then it just screwed, it, screwed itself so then I had to clean my cup start again and the coffee was terrible so I might just have to ask Richard to make me another coffee. Just that oh, I don't know how to use it. So we'll see. Look at all this gnocchi. Look at all this gnocchi. Alright, what we're gonna do last time let's go over to the stove. broken so the company have a lifetime warranty so I just contacted them and said hey like it seems to be a bit rusty there's an issue like it works but I'm just not happy with it you know because it's rusty it's like making the salt look a bit funny so I just contacted them they're like no no problem send us through some photos and um, give us the receipt from where you bought it and we'll give you a refund or we'll, we'll send another one out I mean so isn't it amazing such great customer service uh, and I love it. Minus 18 degrees and you have to replace a dead battery. <gasps> oh my goodness, that'd be so cold. Like, was there any, was it snowing or was there snow around? Oh, Aaron, I feel for you, I'm so sorry. Okay, so this is our gnocchi. I had a fork, but now I don't know where I put my fork. So I'll get another one. Okay, so what you wanna do is grab some like I'm gonna see if this works because this has got flour on it right you want to dip this in some there we go just a little indentation I don't know it's not really you could 
do it like that so it's like a pillow with an indent or you can just grab it and like that so you want to use the heel of the fork and roll it through there's sometimes uh, you can get like a gnocchi board that's got like indents in it so as you push it it will roll the other side as well and indent the side we don't have one of them we're not fancy we're not fancy but we're cheap Some of them a little bit longer but skinnier, so I just push them. Some of them are around the same size. Sometimes it's very hard to kind of get them there, but that's a lot of knocky. Well, lucky we're not streaming tomorrow because we've got all this knocky to eat. And lucky I'm a good cook, hey? But he said a lot of knocky. So this recipe uh, says it serves two. I don't know about that, guys. I'm gonna call bullshit. I'm gonna say it serves about four to six. Anyone wanna come for dinner? Off to paint, enjoyed your stream, you rock Molly. Thank you. I paint creatures, thank you very much. And guys, if you haven't seen I paint creatures stream, go and check him out. He paints the most scary creatures, but they're very, very interesting. And he is an amazing artist, most importantly. Um, great energy, great vibe. So we have rated him, I think about twice. Um, so thank you, it's been a pleasure. Enjoy your stream. Thanks for hanging out. This is gonna take forever. Free homemade dinner, I'm down. I'll be there in 30-ish. 30, 30 hours. Do you paint drop this? See now, as I get lazier, they'll get messier. So you want to put them. Make sure your water is nice and boiling, and then we'll drop them in there in batches. You don't want to put them all in there because. When you're putting something cold in hot water, it's going to reduce the temperature and then they're going to get really waterlogged is where you just want to cook them. It's very, it's very similar to oil as well. Um, you don't want to overload a pan full of oil when you're deep frying because that's how it gets all oily. Um, and then once they're cooked and once they float to the top, then you will Transfer them to the saucepan. We'll just take them out. Okay. Getting a bit of Molly focus going on. Is 
So, we'll go here. Nice hot water. We just want to make sure they're not sticking to each other. Whoop. Drop them in there. And not too many. I told George you were making sweet potato gnocchi. Ah, how you doing, Pode? Thank you for that reset. I appreciate that tier one. How's your day been? How's your shopping adventure? with summer pasta. Ah, oh, your favorite. You guys love summer pasta. Summer sangria, summer melon sangria. Is that what it's called? That looks so good the other day, what you made. I'm doing my no alcohol. Not that it's like not a thing, it's not really a thing, it's just that I'm not drinking. But I was gonna have a like a, a wine to celebrate my first week at work, but. A trainer, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, organizing, you know, people to do some things, courses. I was looking at some courses today, There's some stuff, just getting to know everyone first, I think, and making them feel comfortable. Um, my manager, both of my managers are on leave, so they don't come back for another week and a half. And then I'll find out, like, exactly, sit down with them and see what they want me to do, um, you know, what their kind of hopes and aspirations for my role to be, and what they want their staff to learn. And So what's happening is the boiling process is 
cooking the gnocchi and cooking the flour uh, and see how they're sitting at the bottom once they're ready you'll know that because they will float to the top and then what we're doing is we're finishing off traditional gnocchi is just boiled like this and then you add it to a nice um, thick pasta sauce however more modern gnocchi is made like this so it's pan fried to give it a nice crispy texture and then later on what we'll do is we'll finish it with a really thin sauce so we're going to be using um, some butter and um, some herbs so basil you can use sage So, Poe, you said that Georgie likes sweet potato gnocchi. Is there anyone else in chat that likes gnocchi or sweet potato? I think I prefer, I'm a huge fan of sweet potato. I'm, you know, if you could choose between eating like potato versus anything else, like, I'm not a huge fan of potato itself. Yes, I like chips every now and then and you know, I probably prefer polenta over mashed potato or um, like couscous or something like that. Um, yeah. Every now and then I'll eat potato, I just found it really heavy. You love gnocchi, how you doing, Paramus? So just giving them some cute little indentations. You don't have to do this. Some people just serve it like that, so it's like a pillow. I like to just give it some little bit of character. Just little indentations. They look cuter. Now you can just pop them with a little bit of flour. There we go. Go back over to the stove. Alright, just be 
gentle. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Dry camphor, yep. Why don't you use butter instead of oil? I'm going to finish them off with butter and make a sauce in a little bit. Um, because my pan is really hot, it's got olive oil in it, so the butter would just burn. But we're just doing a, because it's so much gnocchi, we're just doing a primary cook, if that makes sense. If you're worried about adding things to a hot um, pan of water or oil, you can just do this and then lower them in like that, shimmy them off. Twin baiters, you don't have to. This is a more modern technique. Um, traditional gnocchi is just boiled and then served with sauce. However, depending what type of sauce or you know think something that you're gonna have with the gnocchi, we're just gonna do some like thin or uh, like infused butter um, to serve it. So it's just gonna give it a nice texture rather than being slimy. Does that make sense? Frying it sounds yum. Yes, they are very tasty. Yeah, it gives it definitely nice texture. That's sometimes um, what people don't like about gnocchi is that it can be quite slimy because of the, the flour and the potato. However, if you do it like this, you've got all the goodness, all the deliciousness of that beautiful pillows of gnocchi and then some crispy textures the outside. Oh my gosh, it's the Game of Thrones music. How does fried gnocchi taste? It's very nice. So it's when you bite into it, it's like crispy on the outside and like uh, then it has the nice fluffy texture that we all know and love. Um, my personal favorite. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, and a fly bank blanket, yeah. So what I keep saying that we need to invest in Exceed and I touch wood, nothing's happened so far in stream. Um, but I'm always very careful. So, see how it's risen to the top? Give it a little shake. has a little bit of a different flavor as well. Sweeter, um, whereas traditional gnocchi doesn't really have a lot of flavor. But it is so much nicer, I feel, with uh, like a, a sage butter sauce or something like that. Mm. 
probably put a little bit too much in there in the saucepan because I just wanted to get rid of the rest. So once we cook all the gnocchi and we fry it, then we're going to get started on a spinach, tomato, basil, butter. Right, that's what our topping is going to be. And you're putting the lemon juice, we're going to put some lemon juice with the butter just to cut the, the oiliness. A little bit of acidity will make it taste so much better. Alright, you guys watch that. I'm just going to do some cleaning and wipe out my bench. Give some coffee. Thank you, Poe. I'm bringing that, that down in the box. So guys, Australia Day is this um, well, next weekend, next uh, Friday. So that's our national day. Uh, and to celebrate, we're gonna be doing an Australia Day theme uh, cook. But if there is, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna be making some Australian themed food from our Down Under box. So we're gonna be using Aussie food that comes in these boxes making some tastiness. You guys can get your hands on one of these boxes. Uh, Poda's just put the link in the chat. So you can get 10% off and get them. If you order now, they might get to you before Australia Day, maybe. So these are Tim Tams chocolate covered, um, chocolate covered chocolate biscuits. They're amazing with this creamy center in the middle. Vegemite, all that way. Uh, so we're gonna be using this, we're gonna be using them. We might make something with some Milo. These, I hadn't had one of these in ages, but someone at work bought some and like a big bag of them. They're so good. Um, Anzac biscuits. Uh, twisties. So we're gonna definitely be cooking with these three. I don't know what else we'll make, but you guys can get your hand on some Aussie food shipped all the way to your door. You must have barbecue and drink beer worldwide, please. <laughs> what are you, the Aussies in the stream, what are you guys doing for Australia Day? Australia for barbecue so bad. You have to. You guys seen Booms of Barbecue on Insta? I haven't. Twin Bay is never. What is this person you speak of on Insta? Burrito, what's up then? crunchy on the outside and then beautiful pillows of gnocchi inside. Mm. 
That dude you got you into barbecue, really? Wow. Hey, John Burrito King. All right, so for our gnocchi sauce, we've got beautiful cherry tomatoes. We've got some spinach here, some butter, some basil. So I got my food order yesterday and the basil was like all discolored. And I was really disappointed, so I rang the company and they gave me a discount straight away. I didn't have to prove that it was bad. So I'm very happy. I'll just cut off the shitty bits on the one side. But yeah, great customer service. I was very happy with that. It's been frozen in transit, yeah. It's probably um, touching some of the, the colder food. I agree. Yeah, it was... It's all good. So when it's all crispy on all the edges, take it out and then we're going to make our sauce. We're going to have gnocchi for days. So it is lucky that it tastes delicious and you can just eat it without a sauce. How you doing, Smash? Miss Molly had a doctor who was sick, sick, sick. Miss Molly had a dolly who was sick, sick, sick. So she called for the doctor to come quick, quick, quick. The doctor came with his bag and his hat. Um, and he knocked on the, the door with a rat a tat tat. I could just read it, couldn't I? Um, that was the song that I always used to sing. That's, I think, how I got the, the nickname Miss Molly. Um, Uh, Miss Miss Polly, wasn't it? So Miss Polly had a dolly who was sick, sick, sick. Alrighty. Hello from Cer Cerise, is that how you say it? California. How you doing, Burrito King? Mm. So good. Look how luscious and red and shiny they look. Alright, so these are our gnocchi that are ready to come out. Look at all this gnocchi. And the perfect thing is, is you can put it in the fridge or you can freeze it. And then when you want gnocchi again, you can fry it again, add a new sauce. Just read the schedule, Saturday Hot Wing Challenge. Please tell me what I think it is. So, Twin Vaders, it's funny that you ask. So we hit our sub goal um, of 70 subs. Um, I think, oh uh, yeah. Um, when, um, on New Year's Eve, we actually, we, uh, oh, it was amazing. Yes, yeah, so we, we, our sub goal was to do a Hot Wings Challenge. If you've ever heard of the show Hot Ones, uh, it is a question and answer. Um, Sean Evans, it's a YouTube channel, it's amazing. We can get someone to put in the, uh, the link in the, the chat. Um, and what happens is they, Sean Evans gets celebrities in. And you know, celebrities get questioned all the time. They know what they're gonna say, they know what they're gonna answer. So what he does is he sits them down, has 10 hot wings, lined up from lowest to highest Scoville scale, and he will ask them questions. All the while they have to eat these hot one, uh, the hot wings, and they get progressively hotter, 
and then you know when you're eating hot stuff you can't think about anything else you don't give a shit what people are thinking about you you're just dying and sweating and you, it just takes all your inhibitions away so these celebrities go from really prim and proper they they think they're all prepared for the questions and then they're just more natural it kind of just breaks the ice uh, and it's amazing so we're trying to do very something similar so what we're going to be doing is uh, making some potato salad uh, we're going to make some beef short ribs as well as the hot one hot wings on stream we're going to go into the dining room we're going to sit down we've got a camera set up and then we will do hot ones style stream where you guys can ask me questions uh, so what we're going to try to do is we're going to get some pre um, you know pre-collected questions so if there's anything that you guys want to be a part of there's only a short amount of time to get them in so if you want to ask some funny questions or throw me off my shit um, make sure you PM uh, exceed um, on discord or on chat um, on Twitch um, with any questions that you want there's only a short amount of time so if you want to be involved uh, it will be a great stream I will be dying uh, eating very very spicy wings um, it's gonna be a laugh so get your questions into Exceed. Uh, as I said, there's only a little bit of time left. Um, we're going to be cutting it off on Thursday. So uh, the stream is on Saturday. So we can get prepared. We're going to theme the kitchen. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. Enjoy a pipe full of berry white. What does that mean? A pipe full of berry white? What? Yes, Oysters Kilpatrick on Friday as well. Do you guys like the new, the new like concept so we can have the menu there? The new schedule. See, we've got new music. I'll just make noises. I bought some blackberries today. Oh, I love blackberries. I never have them fresh though. I can never find them. Or they're like, hell they're expensive. Mary Jane. Uh. Never heard of Corberry White before. What's up, Chess? Okay, so we've got our tomatoes. Only three dollars. What? Oh my gosh, what supermarket did you go to? Do like a chain? Don't you shop at IGA? I have not seen an IGA in Melbourne. I have to probably Google it. Probably shouldn't do this much. Okay, tomato. Spinach. Jalapeno. Coles, okay, I'll have a look. Depending how spicy you like it, we'll just try half. A little bit of spice. Lemon, lemon juice is going to cut the acidity. Um, Sorry, not cut the acidity, cut the oil. Um, the acidity is going to kind of kind of cleanse your palate and just blend that beautiful flavor. Garlic, we want shitloads of garlic because it's an Italian dish and we want as much flavor as we can. Simple ingredients, done really well. Only Woolies, Woolies have the bezel. What? Tonight I went to Coles, IGA, and Woolies to get all my ingredients. I really. What? You went to all three? Still trying to figure out what you're cooking. I'm making a gnocchi, and we're going to be making like a very simple sauce. You'll see, my friend, you'll see. So we've got four garlic cloves. Also, I just looked up the oyster recipe, can't wait. 
see it. Yeah. So Pode redeemed Molly Dollars to choose the recipe. Um, and you can earn Molly Dollars as our in-stream currency by watching, donating, subbing, um, and you know, just playing along really with the stream. Um, also, if you're new to the channel, all of the recipes that we make on the stream are available to all of our subs. So just make sure your Discord is linked to our Twi uh, your Twitch is linked to the Discord and then your sub only file will pop up. So there's over 330 recipes. I uploaded them all yesterday, sent out Molly mail as well. Uh, just a little message to all of our subs. And you also get a pin in Mollytopia. That is our subs around the world map. Look at that. All right. So our pan here. Blow to me, you need to start. You don't want to burn your garlic. You don't want to burn the, the butter. That's a cool map. Thank you very much. Butter is going to melt down, create a really delicious sauce. Nice garlicky, tomato, chili. You want to put the spinach in last because it's going to wilt down. And then after it wilts, then it's going to start to break down. Okay. Holy dooly, this is going to be so good. Last thing. Uh, for everyone who donates $50 or more, you'll receive an apron, your choice of colors, and your name on it. How's that? Yes. What color options we have? I'm not actually wearing mine today. Um, you have, there it is. I'll get it. This is the blue that I have. It also comes in navy. Um, this color, um, a, like a black, white, and a gray color as well. Pretty cool, hey? Alrighty. I'm going to turn the heat off. I'm going to put my spinach in there. Black, white, or grey, or blue, yep. Do, do, do. So, wilting the spinach down. I've got my spoon. And then, if you want to roll through, 
some of these bad boys. Coat them in your butter. Beautiful, vibrant colors. You've got your sweet potato gnocchi. With your cherry tomatoes, your garlic, lemon juice, butter, spinach. Basil is very, very, should I get a black, white or gray apron? I don't know. I think black. Black. I'm a bit worried about white. You have to like bleach it, it'll get dirty. Black's good. Oh, goodness. Um, grilled chicken with this as well. It just shows the white cat hair really bad. Ah, oh, yeah, true. Can we decorate it? Look at that. Apple avocado, how you doing? Now that's a mountain hiking club. How you doing, Gaza? This is our sweet potato gnocchi with our uh, spinach, tomato, so cherry tomatoes, basil, chili, and butter sauce. Look how good that looks. But you know what it needs? Take that off. I 
one spit of cheese, and then we can put that back on there. Oh, beautiful plating. Thank you very much. Put that there. Move this stuff out of the way. Your best ever. What? Thank you. Do you like chewy or crunchy? So these are the granola bars that are made with puffed rice. Uh, what else do we have in here? I'll make some thin ones as well. Puffed rice, oats, um, almonds, some dark chocolate in there as well. Coconut oil, we used a egg white to keep it together. Uh, some honey, salt. Look at that. Let's get a prettier one. Those nice bits of dark chocolate in there, some almonds. In the middle, chewy and crunchy. Okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, hello, can you, the dogs just ran and they're now just staring at me. Like, give me some food. Remember, this is the leftover stuff. I just wanna show you, you can break it apart like that and make it into like really crunchy granola or just make it into different shaped, um, you know, bars. They don't have to be neat and tidy and you can just be like cookies mm, yum they're not too sweet which is great hey paparunis and what one of those marble you think that's what i'm gonna buy a marble display thing i'm so sick of all these wood i'm sick of the wood ones more plates to display the food on. I think I really like them on the dark. I think all the, a lot of the colour pops all the time. It's a muesli bar stack. Granola bar stack. Crunchy, chewy, all in one. So easy. And then I just, oh, I have something that I want to show you guys. If I can find it. It's always the way when you want something, you can never find it, right? Some lunch, definitely 
you to put some granola bars in there. Say for instance, if I was packing this for lunch for Xeef, we put some gnocchi in here, like that. You made those granola bars quick. Yeah, we did. We made them at the start of the stream. They're just so easy. So all you do is just put all the ingredients together, mix it, push it into a tin, bake it. Uh, and then probably just before it's cooled, just chop it and then let it like crunch up. If you like it chewy, bake it a little bit less. Uh, if you like it really crunchy, I, prefer, I recommend cutting it before you, um, you know, then cook it again because it's really really hard when it's extra crunchy to chop it into the nice neat pieces but if you're not worried don't care don't worry chop it whenever um what else would we put in here you could put some fruit we'll give him we'll give him three just because he's a good boy um you know if this was kid snacks So you could put a little nectarine or a piece of fruit in here. What I like. Everyone, you know. Is that my lunch for work, Molly? Yeah. A little lurky, no problem. You're cooking dinner. What are you eating today, Smash? I was one of those kids that I loved fruit, like carrot sticks. My mum used to send us to um, with like some cream cheese or uh, something to dip it in. Now as an adult, like I like hummus. Well, they're a bit. Thin. Um, I went to Nando's. Do you ever know what Nando's is? Just a little bit too big. I went to Nando's the other day, and they had. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Nando's. 90s lunchboxes were the best. I had a Jurassic Park one. I don't remember what I had. I always knew that I had one of those. Do you remember when your mum used to uh, get a water bottle and she'd freeze it and um, she would always get like a, um, a tea towel and wrap around it and um, put like a elastic bands around it so you could drink your water bottle. Uh, and then by the time like lunchtime, it was nice and cool and it was icy, uh, and it would keep your lunch warm, or cold. But then if it was touching your lunch, your lunch like would be cold in that area, or like sometimes it'd be frozen. Um, there's so many cool memories as a kid. Uh, a lot of the time, mum would like put some a little bit of cordial in my uh, water bottle so that it would um, taste good. Uh, it was nice and icy, and we always had to. You get so in trouble. Twitch Prime sub! As a sub, you get all of the recipes that we've made on the stream. So over 330 recipes, growing each week by 10 to 15. Um, we're also going to give you some Molly Dollars, our in-stream currency. So um, as a tier one sub, you get 500 Molly Dollars to get you started. And we'll get you in Mollytopia. So Kaza, where are you in the world? Let me put your location in Molytopia. Yeah, as a kid, I, I don't know. My mum was amazing, like at school lunches as well. Virginia Beach, Virginia, okay. I'm gonna go with East Coast, USA, right? I know it. 
take my apron off for two seconds. I need my apron off so I can think. Right next to Norfolk, that makes no difference. I don't know where Norfolk is. <laughs> 18,000 cheese boat and rank number one. Woohoo! Apron off to think you're funny. <laughs> where it's along the coast. So. Up, mm. North Carolina along the coast. Which coast? Like, so Florida, like here, around here. Because I'm pretty sure. That's it. yellow pin got a lot of New South Wales subs eh Molly <laughs> I, they're actually all from Queensland uh, we've got one in Canberra two in Canberra and Melbourne it's just they're so big such a big Molly family cuz I thank you so much for that uh, sub I really appreciate that Twitch Prime right. let's get this beauty back on Biggie, how you doing? Only subs go on the map. Yeah, subs around the world. Molly Topia. So subs receive all of the recipes made on stream. Just my way of our, exceeding our way of giving back to everybody for all the support. Uh, subs, uh, hello. Um, Queensland's where it's at. <laughs> okay. It's like this. This is something similar to a just a Chill out. So you've got your lunch, your snacks. So good, eh? 330 recipes. Well, there's 334 in there at the moment. And then I'm going to add lunch this yeah. time. Thank you, thank you so much for that sub. How you doing today? What's been happening? Uh, as of course, just as I said, uh, subs receive all of the recipes. So make sure you join our Discord, guys. Um, join our community. Anyone can join our, our community. Subs will just have their own little um, sub-only channel called... Um, what's it called? The, it's not the sub club. It's just... Like, it's in the corner. I don't know what it's called. Don't remember. $500 million exceed has just... Uh, Exceed has just given you some um, some Molly dollars there. Sub chat, that's it. And let's get you a Molly Topia. Biggie, where are you around the world? Okay. 
Damn, it is hot in here. Uh, Molly Mail, additional emotes. Yes, yes, yes. Who knows what's up? Okay. And now, because we've got three subs, now I have to eat the warhead. Canada, Sas Sasquatch. I always, I, I love the name of this city, but it's so hard to say. Saskatchewan. I thought you are laughing at yourself. Uh, Saskatchewan. Hey Google, how do you say Saskatchewan? Hey Google, where is Saskatchewan, Canada? Try again in a few Shade seconds. glitch. Hey Google, where is... Tell me about Saskatchewan, Canada. Sorry, something went wrong. She doesn't Try even... Again in a few seconds. Hey Google, where is Saskatchewan, Canada? Hmm, something went wrong. Try again in a few seconds. I am saying all right. Oh no, my Google Home. My Google Home's having issues. Now my Google Chrome's having issues. You call. All right. Ixi, did your computer just turn off? City is Regina. Okay. Which locality is this near? So this is uh, this is Link in Manitoba. In which direction are you, my friend? Oh, that's north of Montana and the Dakotas. Oh, I love Dakota. I just my mum went to Dakota when I was little. And she sent me, uh, like, she showed me a postcard of Dakota and Montana, and I just, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So, show me a direction. Left from me and slightly up, halfway between my pin and the orange one. Okay. So, Biggie, your purple, so I'm going to give you a purple pin. So you always know where you reside in Molotopia. Okay. Left and halfway between you and the orange one. Okay. So up. So like here. Is that right? Can you guys see that colour? We need lights, man. We need lights. I keep saying we need lights. That's about right. Biggie, is that right? Woohoo! Well, thank you so much for that subscription. I really appreciate that. Lovely to have you aboard the Molly fam. Welcome to Mollytopia. Just is like hell weird today. <laughs> oh, there's Romeo. Alright. Just it must be a full moment. The dog is being weird. Alrighty. Oh, what? I thought I was gonna get out of that one. Alright. Apron is off. Let's do this. Okay, so I need a sneeze, so I apologize. <laughs> oh, okay, we're done. Let's wash hands. So in Molytopia, for every two subs, I eat a warhead. And now we have three. Now I have to eat one. Okay? I'm gonna do this before someone subs and I have to eat two at once. Okay, let's deep dive into the packet. Whoop. 
All right, what should we do? Oh, oh, this is like the only one in there. Green, apple. Okay, I apologize in advance. What? Apple today. Can we see the dogs? Chester does this thing where he bites Romeo's ears and pulls them like it would be a, like a tug of war toy. He just like holds the dog's e Chester's ears and pulls them. I strip for potatoes. How you doing? You've come at the right time because we received. Scroll through. We received three subs, so that means a warhead. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Dons, how you doing? What are warheads? You've never had a war You don't know what a warhead is? Oh, it's like an extremely sour lily. And it's, yeah, it's extremely sour. And everybody loves, the community loves when I do it. And every time I get like two, everyone's like, what a time. And um, sometimes it happens that I get like four subs in a, like in a row and I'll have to eat two at once. I'm going to always try and endeavor to have like no facial expression, but it just kills me. Um, I'm just dark. Now it's, sweet. Now it's sweet. All the sour's gone, but I just... I've been told that I've got so much facial expressions, I try and stop it, but it's... I had a chef trial today, which was good. Ah! Oh. Were you going to be a chef, like an apprentice? That's exciting. Oh, I just need to get some coffee in me. Get that taste out of my mouth. Oh. Very cool. So, this is what kind of uh, restaurant are you going to be working at? Full Italian. Oh, that's good. You'll know, like you'll learn the basics and Italian cooking. That's what my brother, who's a chef, uh, he learned in an Italian kitchen as well. He loved it. It was hard. Um, butter chicken. Butter chicken? Sammy? I thought you said Indian. <laughs> I <had> Italian. <laughs> Uh, an Indian would be interesting, an Indian kitchen to learn from. All right, let's go through this delicious food. So let's go through this one first. So these are our adult granola bars. So we have uh, rolled oats, puffed rice, um, some dark chocolate, almonds, uh, egg white, some honey, uh, and a little bit of salt. Really, really simple. I need sleep, no problem. So. You can have them crispy, crunchy, you can have them chewy. Thank you so much for that host, Sammy. Is that a kid's school pack? Uh, yeah, it's a Tupperware container. It can be. Uh, and then we made some sweet potato gnocchi. And this, there's so much of it. But you can freeze this or put it in the fridge and then just make different sauces whenever you want. So we cooked it in the saucepan, we boiled it until it uh, rose, rose, 
Rice rice. <laughs> and then we pan fried it in the fry pan with a bit of olive oil to make it nice and crispy on the edges and then nice and pillowy on inside so it's nice and soft inside so beautiful gnocchi and then this is what we've done we've created so sweet potato gnocchi with a cherry tomato basil spinach garlic butter sauce a bit of chili in there as well look at that beautiful pop of color a little bit of lemon juice so it's got a butter sauce um, and then we've used lemon juice to cut through that um, oiliness and really just enhance all the flavors. A bit of salt and pepper as well. And then I just wanted to show you guys how easy you can, you know, bring all this stuff together and you could get a, any type of, um, you know, there's just something similar to this or well, there's so many uh, work you know, uh, containers. This is great because it's all in one. And then it just shuts like that and clicks. And you can just put it in your work bag. Now this is a stream I can get behind. 8-Bit Junkie, how you doing? <laughs> no bad gameplay, how are you? Welcome to Miss Molly Makes. How you doing? So yes, we are a cooking stream. We cook five nights a week. We have two themed streams. Uh, one being where we cook themed cuisine from around the world called Miss Molly Makes Around the World and also Gamer Grub. Gamer Grub is where we recreate food from video games, TV shows and movies. Um, so Simpsons food, Game of Thrones food, GTA, things like that. Um, and we be a little bit creative. And then we just do everyday food. Things that, you know, just cooking my dinner. Um, so I am the cook in the kitchen. Then we have the production manager, Exceed. Uh, we have multiple camera angles. And this is Molly Topia, subs around the world. And the best thing is, why hasn't this blown up yet? One day. And the best thing is, it, all of the recipes, over 330 recipes, uh, go to our subs. Just as a thank you for the subscription, we just wanna give back. Uh, we're big in um, thanking our community and growing a really positive community. So if you guys want to uh, see some photos of things that we've made, make sure you're joining our socials. Our Discord as well is available for everybody. Uh, we want to see the food you guys are eating, cooking, um, and it's a lot of fun on there as well. Uh, and then also, you know, socials, Insta, that kind of thing. Because then you haven't been here, yes. <laughs> it hasn't blown up because you haven't been here. No, I think, if, I think we're a really young stream. Uh, you know, I, I've been growing in confidence with my with my skills and things like that and um, Because people would rather watch skimpy gamer girls than no guys that's don't say that uh, You know, I think there's people on Twitch for all different reasons and if it's suiting them then that's great You know, there's people who make a living out of Twitch doing all different things and for me I love cooking I love teaching people how to cook and Taking the fear out of the kitchen. A lot of people are too nervous to start, but the way, you know, we do printer-friendly recipes, really simple recipes, there's anything from... 8-Bit Junkie, thank you very much for that follow. Uh, you know, super, super simple to some really intricate recipes as well. It's all about building your confidence, getting you out there, and uh, for me, we were working full-time as well as doing the stream. And now we can just, I'm doing both. And it allows me the flexibility. When I get home, there's sometimes I just want food right now, right here, and super simple uh, recipes. And then sometimes I want to cook all day and make lamb shoulder and things like that. So you can do heaps. Which days does she game, do the game recipes? Cosa, so um, next week we're going to be doing Harry Potter themed food. Uh, so every two weeks, you make sure you see down below in our panels um, where our schedule is now going to be updated. So every two weeks, uh, one week on the uh, Sunday here in Australia time uh, will be Miss Molly Makes Around the World, so themed cuisine. And then the following week will be Game of Grub. You want to see the dog? Just up. Uh, you, if you just click our link on our Discord, I'll get someone to bring our socials up. This is Chester. This is our new little puppy. Finn, you've been hungry. He's been barking. 
<laughs> and then this is the grumpy big boy, Romeo. You're the original, hey? The original gangster. Oh my god, he's so precious. So he's he's just more chilled, he's older. Whereas the puppy just wants to play. Can we get some Romeos in chat? You just want some food, don't you? Romeo or oh Romeo? There he is. Good boys. Good boys. So we're cooking up deliciousness five nights a week. Uh, we stream 6.30 p.m. Uh, across the board. So it's just easier. Everybody knows what time we're streaming. They don't have to calculate or whatever. If you catch one of our streams, it's just the same time, five nights. Um, let me just do this. Our next stream will be one day in 22 hours. We don't cook on Wednesdays. Um, we might play some games. I might jump on tomorrow because it's a day off. Um, and then Friday we have our Oysters Kilpatrick, we're going to make some really delicious food. Thursday, Friday, Saturday is our Hot Wings Challenge. So we'll be in the kitchen, we're going to make some beef short ribs, we're going to make some potato salad, we're going to make the wings on stream, and then we're going to go and eat them. For hitting our sub goal of 70 subs, we are going to die. I'm going to die in the, in the dining room, uh, eating hot wings on the scale, going up the Scoville scale. So we've got about eight, um, eight different hot sauces. Be prepared. Uh, yes, and then next week it is gonna be Australia Day. Um, also we've got Harry Potter theme coming up. So guys, we thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the stream. We are going to host one of our lovely friends, Miss Mud Monkey. So, we don't often get to see her. She's one of our Crash Fan members. It would mean a lot to me if you can stay around, jump into her stream, say hello. And guys, we'll see you next time. Hit that follow button if you'd like the show to be updated when we're live. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you on Thursday. Bye, everybody. You know, if you're happy, you're happy. But like, why is it a thing? Wait, wait. Chin, chin.